Hey guys. So I have to hold my head in just the right way or else the light like gets really freaking crazy, right? I love the sun. I love my indoor outdoor desk. Um, things have been busy. Um, to, first off, uh, hats off to the patrons who are um, down with this idea of the man from Katua film. This is a project uh, that I brought up a couple weeks ago, and um, uh, we're going to make a movie. The Man from Katu is an article I wrote that uh, sort of a localism, uh, preaches unanimous government, talks about the benefits of what uh, voluntary government is versus coercive government. Some of you might say, well, you can't even use the word government at all, and, and I get that. We, we can discuss all that. We don't have to use the word government, guys, but I need a thumb holder to bring people in to say this is what we're talking about, uh, voluntary government. Uh, but I hear you, oxymoron, right? Anyway, uh, patrons have been uh, stepping up going, I want to help too. Um, it, being a patron now is basically you're a producer. You are a producer on this film. And uh, we're already on our way. Uh, we've got some equipment, uh, GoPro 7. Works great. I, I'm not a videographer, so I've been learning how to use it. I went to New York last week. Some of you guys know that. Thank you, Aaron, for inviting me. Um, really awesome to see Jonathan, Andrew, and all my new friends that I met there. Wow, you guys rock, man. You guys rock. What a what a fascinating time talking about truth. And we got a uh, a gimbal camera too. This is uh, an artificial intelligence, technically. It's it's face tracking built in and I I wanted this camera too strictly because it has a lot of features that are automatic it will uh, automatically uh, see that it'll track and follow things um, it does like face tracking so basically you can do like pan shots uh, without having to be a cameraman and I really want a nice light rig that, that isn't in your face that people don't see all the time. This is the talking stick. This will be the modern day version of the talking stick around the fire. I think this is going to work great. Um, it's basically a glorified selfie stick with a face tracker, but I think it's going to work great for these uh, campfire interviews. So the movie, uh, Man from Katua, it will be uh, focusing on uh, blockchain voluntary government, uh, something that um, the article talks more about. In fact, we have an official executive producer, Brent, one of our patrons, um, right now as we speak, is working on the screenplay. He's turning the article into a screenplay. He has a lot of experience in this field. I'm really curious to see what he comes up with. Um, Brent also helped uh, help get this initial equipment purchase. Um, thank you again, guys. I'm looking forward to learning how to use this equipment better and uh, bringing you uh, content from, from afar instead of plugged into my desk. Also, I performed surgery on my laptop, replaced the batteries. The fact you can see me proves it's working. Um, and I've been editing the crap out of my book. Um, oh, so much work. I, I can't wait to share it with you, but I, I need this time to really make that thing good. Uh, side note, someone sent me this. John Trudell, this guy's amazing. Um, I've been pushing his work. Uh, he does that crazy horse. We hear what you say. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful poem that I've been pushing the video on. Uh, the video was shot from Dapple, the uh, pipeline. Right as Trump was elected, remember the pipeline protest? If you want to know how the NWO is going to treat uh, indigenous people, you are an indigenous person. Uh, look at Dapple. It really does show the true nature of, uh, of the goals here of the modern day NWO government. Anyway, uh, the person who sent me this, I don't know. Um, I don't know who it is. It arrived in another package from the post office says saying outer package was damaged in packaging. So, um, I, I have an idea of who it is, but it would be awkward if I was wrong. So anyway, shout out. Beautiful book. I, I, I recommend this to everybody. This guy's a true, a true poet in every sense of the word. Two days ago, let me move over here for the sun. <laughs> Two days ago, Donald Trump signed an executive order 
putting the DOD, among other agencies, in charge of influenza. Uh, the eugenics program that we have installed is hidden by our belief that government is a compassionate force in our lives. This is really bad emotional mind control. And if you look at the MSM uh, take on this, not one person's criticizing Trump. Not one person's using this executive order to say, oh, it's an overreach of power, or oh, the Republicans, or it's none of that. It's all straight up, straight dope. Trump is going to make the influenza a priority. Trump is modernizing the influenza vaccine. He's not modernizing the vaccine, guys. He's creating policy to make it more uh, lawful to enforce mass vaccination programs. It's 45% uh, vaccination rate on uh, influenza. I believe it's influenza. He wants to increase that. That means more bullshit, more CDC, FDA lies. Yes, lies. If you want to tell me how well the government does at centralizing all the power under one agency and putting them in charge of the health of something, please, please, dear God, look at Monsanto and the EPA. Look at that relationship. This is an emotional Stockholm syndrome you have if you're pretending that this is a good thing. If you're locked in on this, this is 5G chess and we're going to secretly put good ingredients in vaccines that are going to make everybody more red-pilled, I need you to chop your head off because it's not serving you right now. I realize that sounds kind of harsh to say chop your head off, um, but at what point are you going to be held responsible for your own support of what's happening with the government? At what point are you going to consider yourself uh, responsible for what we're leaving for the future through policy, through what we accept from the government? The MSM and Trump are exactly in line on this. The executive board, there's no beef with anyone about anything. It's just like Antarctica. Whenever you have a program where everyone is on the same page in Washington and in the media, you have propaganda. Can we please, please stop pretending that Trump and the media are separate entities that are fighting each other? A crab has two pincers. One pincer is different than the other. It's much stronger. This is the fork and the knife. This is how you attack a plate. This is how you cannibalize a mind. So I'm going to get back to writing this book and learning this stuff. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, and maybe I'll even learn on working on my lighting. But I just wanted to check in and talk a little bit about all those things. I guess I didn't need to say this. You just heard what I said. I've got a pet peeve when people say what they're going to say and then say it and then summarize what they just said to say it. Uh-oh, a hummingbird has just come back and I thought they were gone for the season. I will boil sugar water right now and put it in this hummingbird feeder. Sovereignty is inside of you. And to point out the NWO and the government is not being negative. Being negative is throwing your power away. Being negative is pretending that the DOD has a mandate to protect your health. The DOD has a mandate to protect the nation. The nation is the government. If you do not control a population, you don't have a nation. Therefore, it becomes necessary to create a way to control a population. Every day, this is a strategic move by a rancher and his cowboys to systematically control where the herd goes. This is how you move a flock. This is how you control a populace. Anyway, have a great day. Remember the Alamo. And uh, we'll see you soon.